So to use this script, the first thing you need to do is download it and install it into Fusion. This is my uh, GitHub page where I'm hosting it at right now. So you can uh, just download a zip file. It's probably the easiest way to do it unless you feel like uh, forking it, modifying it, which I completely encourage. Uh, so if you want to fork it, clone it, whatever you want to do, that's fine too. But if you just want to download it, just go ahead and download the zip file. And then right here on the page, I've got a link to um, a quick description. So you can follow this steps to install it. You basically just have to drop, unzip the folder into a specific directory on Windows or Mac, and then the scripts will automatically show up under um, my scripts or my add-ins. So just follow that process, download it, and then we'll take a look at it in Fusion. All right, once you have the script set up, you're gonna just go here into the new uh, add-ins menu. It's like scripts and add-ins. You should see uh, Nestor in here. If not, you might have to restart Fusion, or uh, if still not, just make sure, just select this green checkbox, and you can go browse to wherever you unzipped that script, um, and just select this nestor.py, and it'll ask, add it to your my scripts. And now you can grab this script, run it, and what we're going to do is going to ask you to pick a base face. So in this case, I want to lay all the pieces of this chair out flat. And what I've done is I've just modeled up um, a piece of a block to represent a sheet of plywood. So I like to do this just to uh, give myself like kind of the space um, reference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this face. And then make sure you pick the other selection box for the other faces. And I'm just going to pick all of these. And what it's going to do is it's going to create joints between these faces and this master face. And then it, I'm, I'm also able to input a uh, spacing. Right now, the script just automatically spaces everything in the uh, Y direction. Um, looking to add the ability to pick the direction you want to space things in. Uh, just to give you kind of a starting point to move things around. So we'll say 3 and I'll hit OK. And we can see the result, which is pretty nice. So now they've basically been all laid out flat and then spaced uh, linearly by three inches. Now there's one little thing that you have to do here. It's kind of weird, um, but what you want to do is, an easy way to do it is to do selection filters, uncheck select all, and just go to select components. And then you want to grab uh, all of these. So in Fusion, if you do a left to right box, it'll just pick what's in the box. So you want to grab them and then you want to move them around. Um, it's just a it's a quirk in the way that the script works, but you have to actually move all the parts after you run the script um, before you can actually take a snapshot, um, which you'll want to do finally. So essentially run the scripts, move the parts around, they have to be moved, and then take a snapshot. And then uh, you can lay them out flat. So watch, let's go through the process again. Add in scripts, run the nesting script. Again, pick the base face, pick these other faces. So now I just grab um, the other parts that I want to lay out, grab all those. So again, those are the faces that are going to get mapped. In this case, maybe I want to space them pretty far apart. So I'll say 25. And now the nice thing about this is because I used, uh, I made a joint between them. So now uh, when I go to move everything around, one of the things I also like to do is a nice little trick as well. Uh, you can come in here, you can right click on the stock part, and there's an option in Fusion to say selectable, unselectable. So I like to just make it unselectable, which you'll notice the little red uh, crossed out circle here, letting you know that you can't select it. It just makes it easier to pick the other parts. And now you can just go about um, moving these things around, you know, to try to lay this out the way that you want. So I'll do something like this, maybe. Another useful tool in here is... Uh, if you want to come in and if you pick one of these, you can right click, you can say move, and this will bring up a triad. So you could actually do things like if you wanted to actually like rotate this, for example, maybe something like this. Um, then you can still move it from in here if you want, um, or you could uh, still just move it manually by dragging it around. It's just you can't really rotate it unless you bring up that move command. So here we go, that looks pretty good. I've got a nice little layout here and I'd be ready to take this to manufacture. The last thing you wanna do again, remember after you've been moving parts around in Fusion, the key is you gotta press this snapshot button. To uh, What that does is it actually adds a feature to the tree that's saving the position of all those parts. So if I go back before the snapshot, they're gonna just be laid out flat. 
and then moved into position. So it's pretty nice, and uh, this script definitely saves you a lot of time if you're going to lay out parts um, to cut out on like a CNC router or laser or something like that. Uh, please let me know if, uh, if you like this, if it's useful, and uh, what we can do to make it better. Thanks.